I'm L.A. Roth Rain, and this is a video about the Selkie Biodynamic Cherry Tomato Plant. You're going to see a seedling of the plant and what that little seedling can develop into if you use our seed in our system. For about 25 years, I've been cultivating the seeds that produce these super plants that people liken to prehistoric monsters. They've actually referred to the plant as a monster. They usually grow about 12 foot high by 10 feet round and produce in excess of 2,000 tomatoes per plant. If you use our biodynamic seed and correctly build our organic tomato hill using old cow or horse manure and garbage. By garbage I mean table scraps. Everything from pepperoni pizza to chicken wings. The plant will eat any part of a plant or animal and absorbs large quantities of energy from the heavens. There's only common sense to realize that electromagnetic interchanges between the earth and the stars and the planets affect plant life. These energies like sunspots and moon phases can be harvested by this plant and other plants to produce super seeds, fruits and vegetables. Genetic engineering can never create a seed that produces plants like the Selkie Biodynamic Cherry Tomato plant. If they could, they would, and it would be the poster child for the genetic engineering seed industry. All ancient cultures knew that earthly life is a materialization of heavenly energy. Heavenly energy first manifests on earth in round or circular form, be it a plant, animal, or human. The womb for plant seeds to come to life is the earth herself. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution has had a huge impact on negating this reality from the consciousness of human beings. Darwin was 180 degrees wrong in his origin of the species. All life on earth comes from the heavens. Genetically altering a seed diminishes its potential because its heavenly life force cannot replicate itself as well due to this genetic manipulation. Forget Charlie Darwin, Francis Clark, and genetically engineered plant seeds.